Hi guys. Um, just wanted to share this with you. This is a new build of the Chromium OS for the Raspberry Pi. Um, this is running natively. It's not the Chromium browser. It is the native Chromium OS for the Raspberry Pi. See, we're all plugged in. We're all good to go. Um, just wanted to bring up a video to show you guys that the video quality is pretty good. It can play your average YouTube video. Um, which I find pretty impressive. I did not build this build exactly. It is built by Hexamon. I probably butchered his screen name. Um, I'm going to link it in the description and probably put it on the official Chromium uh, subreddit. So I just wanted, I, all the credit goes to him for building this. He's a very talented developer and uh, hopefully we can keep pumping out really nice builds of the Chromium OS um, for you guys. So, um, I'm going to pause this, I'm going to go pull up something else, and show you guys, you know, explore this operating system a little bit for you guys. Okay, uh, another cool thing that you can do inside this new Chromium experience for the Raspberry Pi, hooray, is you can get the official Microsoft Word, basically all of Office, they have apps on the Chromium operating system. So you can use stuff that you weren't able to use before. So that's another cool thing that you can do with this operating system. Um, still poking around. The web store works. Um, go to apps, your app drawer, web store. Um, one problem I am noticing is that Flash doesn't work on some websites. Works on YouTube, works on a majority of them, but on a few, it just doesn't, doesn't work. Um, a couple that I tested, um, Netflix isn't working, and SoundCloud isn't working. I, I don't know about other sites, I haven't tested them out yet. Um, so we have tons and tons of possibilities within this. Uh, Google extensions work, so you could actually use uh, like ad blocker, your Google Drive extensions, all of those, they will work natively within this. Um, I think it's kind of funny, It's it's been like a chase for the people that we've been, um, the people behind the operating system, you know, tinkering around with code and then building from source. And I just think it's awesome that we finally have gotten to a point where we have a working product. And I love that. I think that's really awesome. So, that is pretty much all I have on this video. Um, I'm going to link to the file. And from there, we'll see, you know, have you guys test it out, tell us what works, what doesn't work, and all that. And then hopefully we can build around that and work on that kind of stuff. So, thanks for watching.